Hello, today I'm going to do a gentle parenting q and I'm going to respond to this question. When I tell my son to be gentle, he hits even more. And I'm here with my skincare basket because I'm going to do my morning skincare before my makeup. And while I talk about this, I'm going to give you the cause of why telling your child this does not work and four things to do, four things to that, that do work. <laughs> Hello, my name is Marcela Collier. I'm a certified parenting coach and owner of HIC Parenting Education Agency. We have helped over 10,000 parents become secure parents, break free from frustration and reactivity, and raise emotionally healthy children. And I'm very excited to talk about this topic because it's a common misconception that I see in the gentle parenting community. But if you like this kind of content, subscribe, follow me, and let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about the cause. This is my favorite lip balm from EOS. I'm going to link up some of the products below um, if you're interested. So according to brain science, let's go to what brain science says about this, children seven and under don't have a developed prefrontal cortex. And children over seven years old, their prefrontal cortex is developing and is what's in charge of them controlling impulses, especially in times of stress. So if they're already healing and we tell them, hey, gentle hands, <laughs> they won't follow it. If, they, if their brain is flooded with stress hormones, they cannot control impulses. The first thing that I do after lip balm, before I apply anything else, is that I do my vitamin C oil. It has, this one is from Derma E. Vitamin C, I don't, I've noticed that it has reduced my dark spots, you know, I can tell that they're fading away and it's just a very good antioxidant. So that's an unrealistic expectation. Do we tell our children at all, gentle hands, be gentle, as a teaching opportunity, as a um, teaching you what to do instead, even though you cannot give that to me quite yet. And I think that's where many parents get stuck, that they think that that prompt is going to get their children to stop hitting. And no, there are a few things that need to be in place for your child to be a lot more successful and, and not hit, or to stop hit, hitting. Okay, so I'm going to do it under my eyes, everywhere. Let's talk about what works. Next step that I do is that I just apply my moisturizer. Did I say it right? This is from um, Slushy Hyaluronic Acid plus, plus Serum. So I do this. It's very simple. My skincare routine in the morning. The night is a little more you know, elaborate, a little thicker ingredients and stuff. Okay, so what does work? Let's prevent heating in the first place. There is a way to prevent heating, and this is something that I teach the members of the Secure Parent Collective Membership, and my coaching clients, and it is that before a child gets to the point of heating, there are early signs. Why? Because every behavior communicates a need in a child, I, don't forget your neck. And sometimes something that I learned is that you just don't rub it everywhere. You do like movements up. Because if you go to, a, to do a facial, that's what they would do to your neck. Upright movements. So those early signs, when your child gets triggered, when they feel a little restless, when they start whining, like there are always signs that come before the, the big hitting, the big meltdown. And 
a lot of the times we are not we are aware of them. Uh, and then we just see my child just hit so much and we miss those signs. So with my coaching clients, I we coach them into looking for those early signs and how they present in their particular child. That's why coaching is so powerful because it's very personalized. And then from there, they're going to, they start seeing like, oh yeah, every time my son comes from daycare is rough. I could plan for tomorrow when he comes from daycare. Maybe we won't go right to doing homework or daycare. He's not doing homework. But maybe we would, we would not go right to uh, the daily routine, but maybe we could take a break. So when you are able to see those early signs and to see the patterns in your children, you can prevent hitting on the first place. Number two, number two is to set the boundary. To set the boundary in a calm yet firm way. Part of skill development is teaching coping strategies. Coping strategies is what they what can they do instead. One of them is teaching them to take deep breaths, to use their body in a different way that not, is not hitting. My breathing exercises, visuals, is, this is a free resource from HIC Parenting. These are posters that you can put in your child's calm down corner. They can follow the prompts and calm down without having to use aggression. They learn to engage their body differently. I'm going to link it up below or go to hacprinting.com if you want to download this free resource. Next thing that I do, sometimes I apply, this is um, treatment oil. I like it just to apply glowiness to my face because I have dry skin. Oh, I got a sneeze. Um, so set the boundary. Like, oh, I see, acknowledging the, the, the motion. I see that you are really frustrated, really angry. Move their hands out of the way. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. And then... Uh, Go through, it is a wave. Hitting is a wave. Go through the wave. And once you go through the wave, then teach skills. Teach skills. And that's what will correct behavior the long term. We have a workshop coming up on the 29th, March, May 29th. If you are watching this after it, you can uh, purchase the replay for just $7. Where I'm going to give you the use process to correct behavior from any child with ease by number one, understanding those early signs. Number two, the needs that drive that behavior. Number three, how to coach them in these skills. To register, just go to hacparenting.com and the link is there. So that's what I have for you today. The last thing that I do is my sunscreen. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember that it only takes understanding of yourself and of your children to transform your parenting. I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments. What is the pattern? Where, when do you see your child more prone to hitting? Let me know. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. I'm done. <laughs> this is my last step. This is my work. This might not work, but... It feels so cooling, it's so cold. I love it.